What is failure mood and effect analysis? As it says, this is a systematic way of investigating uh, failures. And this is probably one of the simplest tool in the industry. Therefore, it is used in a wide range of industries in wide range of applications. This simple tool uses uh, basically when something is failing, first of all, how frequent that failure can occur. And it rates that number one criteria frequency from one to ten is scale. Uh, soon I will explain how to rate something one or ten and things like that. So when things fail, then next thing you want to know um, how severe it could go if that failure occurs. The severity of that failure also rate from one to ten is scale. I'll show you soon how to rate severity from 1 to 10. There is a guideline you can use to do that. Finally, is it possible to detect the failure even before it occurs? So based on these three criteria, it produces a thing called risk priority number, multiplying all these score for all these categories. And this definition is taken from ASQ dot org you can check that so this is the table that is taken from this books on the left says quality toolbox uh, will give you some idea about how to rate something uh, from let's say five um, occurrence level what that means if you have one failure out of 500 that's kind of like a five level of rating and then severity, what is considered severity level 5 or 6 or so on. So this table will give you a little bit of ideas about uh, how to rate those uh, different um, categories. So once you do that, let's say you are studying something, you got 20 or 25 different types of failure mood that you are studying, and then you have scores for each of them, then you multiply them to produce the final respiratory number. Looks like number 14 even has the highest respiratory number, so then you work on this. You just don't stop here just to produce the number. Next thing is how can I minimize the occurrence or severity or detections? Let's say that the number 14, we can not do anything about the occurrence. However, we can minimize the severity if that failure occurs to a level from 10 to 5. Detection also we can improve from 7 to 5. And then the final number gets now 125. Then you start working on the event number 9 and you keep going like that. And this how this this is how it simple it is. It is very simple tool to apply and therefore it used in many industries.